Hey, welcome back on the Good Morning Artesia radio show. And today on our Artesia Public School segment, we're going to focus on Yucca School. And joining us is Counselor Tara Skinner. Good morning. Good morning. And Principal Brian Taylor. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. How are you this morning? Well, you know, we're glad to be here and had to go to Carlsbad last night. Uh, yes. But well. we, we kind of snuck in. Went to the volleyball game and then got out of there as quickly as we could. <laughs> it's a good thing it's on this side of town. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, Carlsbad's fine. It was. Uh, it was. A, and it was a good trip because we won. Yes. So that, uh, Definitely a good trip. No, it always makes it better. That's right. Well, how are things at Yucca School? Oh, it's great. Great. Uh, glad to be. Glad to be there with all of them back in there and uh, just uh, move around along. Uh, you know, trying to create those good relationships with kids yeah now was there a lot of uh construction and stuff, yes. stuff some yes. improvements that were made over the last yeah, yes and that's that's one of the uh, uh you know the big things that happened at yucca was we added about eighteen thousand square feet uh, which were four classrooms and then they added a stem lab music room computer lab art room and then uh, uh, there are five rooms for ancillary, which is our SPED, Title I, um, Enrichment, Bilingual, and, and those, there were five rooms added, smaller rooms added for those uh, um, specials. And so anyway, it's been, it's been a great addition and that uh, the kids really enjoy it. And uh, I, I really enjoy the space because it was getting really crowded. <laughs> uh, we and and we are growing because we added a teacher a couple of years ago when we got the new, the new building. We added a, a first grade teacher, and so we're uh, and we don't want to fill it up too fast. But uh, it's uh, we had, we do have room to grow now. That's good. Tara, did uh, did you get a new office or are you? No, st I'm still up at the front, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm um, we've shifted so first and second is now near the office and third fourth and fifth are further away but it, it works out well where my office is yeah. and then I'm in classrooms every day for for classroom lessons so it really doesn't matter where my office is there you go you're <laughs> able to, to, to be where you need to be well I know there's some things coming up uh, that you want to talk about but first of all let's talk about the morning assembly uh, that you have every every morning at Yucca School. Tell us a little bit about uh, about that. Oh, the the morning assembly and and uh, when I when I got the job um, five years ago, it was one thing that uh, Miss Takis asked me. That we, you have to keep the morning assembly, and I, I told her, uh, that I, I wouldn't change that. And Miss Miss Flores, I think she's the one maybe has started that. And every kid, we meet in the gym every morning. And we do our pledges, and we get the uh, our our mission statement and motto, and we go over that each day, and uh, the menu, so they know the menu beforehand, and we celebrate birthdays each day, any announcements that we need. Uh, Fridays are special days when the football, volleyball, or soccer team comes, and we get to have a little more fun, uh, you know, a little little dancing and music and, and and some things like that just a a good way to start the day each day with the the kids not having just to run in and sit down they get to you know see everybody and, and uh you know i just think it just builds a little bit of community because they all get to be there together okay terry i'm sure you're there at those events uh, i am yes how how beneficial do you think those are for all the kids i think it's very beneficial because we're there as a yucca family and for me personally i can i can scan faces and see who might be having a rough day and teachers can too mm -hmm. so i i feel like it's a, a very beneficial assembly every morning to meet together yeah do, do they sing happy birthday if their birthdays and like dance that? and dance yes okay <laughs> it's called it's called the birthday boogie <laughs> that's what we do when, when we have birthdays is the birthday boogie and and we make sure that we get everybody like on fridays we get the kids on the weekend and then starting in april we start celebrating the ones in the summer like uh the end of april we get the 27 28 29th all of june and july and then we celebrate the the summer birthdays in april and may with those other kids so we make sure everybody gets to do the birthday boogie and 
don't get left out. So the person having the birthday has to do the birthday boogie? Yes, and, and whoever, and they get to bring friends and their teacher. Okay. They up get to, to the front. Uh, yeah, yes. up, to, up to the front, and they get a birthday sticker and a pencil, and and uh, they we play the birthday boogie song, and they dance, and uh, get to bring a friend, and Friday's special, then they get the bulldogs up there, and so it's... Wow, that sounds like a great way to start the day. It is, it is, and they, they, the kids really enjoy it. They, yeah. they, they enjoy. They get kind of, oh, disheartened when they there's not a birthday that day, and so. Yeah. And then the month of September, there's a there. It's crazy. There were only 20 birthdays in the whole month, and so that's you know we haven't had one every day. Usually it's pretty much there's one every day. Might have to dig through the celebrity files to yes. find some. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to if we can't start getting teachers more. I I'm gonna have to find them out a little more. Yeah, well, that would probably be uh, that'd be helpful. See, I, we didn't start the day that way when I was in school at that age. It was like, how come you didn't do your homework? <laughs> And it's like, well, how do you know I didn't do my homework? It's because I know you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. Well, one of the things coming up is the Ned Show, and uh, you started to tell me about that, Brian. That is mm -hmm. is that uh, a person's name? Is that letters that stand for something? No, what? it's a, it's just a, it's it's actually a, a the company that's that's doing this, and it's what they use his name as part of their mission. Uh, and it's called Ned's Mindset Mission. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll let Mrs. Skinner tell a little bit about Well, that. and it, it has to do with growth mindset. Okay. And that's something that I'm lucky enough to get to go to each classroom every week and do lessons with kids, mm -hmm. um, SEL lessons. Um, last week we hit on growth mindset. And it's um, if you have a fixed mindset, it's you tell yourself I can't if you have a growth mindset you tell yourself I can't and the magic word is yet but I will try mm -hmm. and and this Ned show falls in with that okay um, and I believe he does some yo-yo tricks within this show and then the kids will have a chance to purchase a, a um, yo-yo and try some of those tricks later on mm -hmm. yes okay. so, so Ned will actually be at the school? Yes, the man who's presenting that okay. part of it. Yes, part they, of they, they go to different places, but they have a, a, a general uh, company that, you know, that sends out. And, gotcha, okay. And uh, all, their, all their profits are made from the sales of the yo-yos. So they come and do it for free, mm -hmm. but they get, they, all their profit comes from the sales of the yo-yos and the products and, and things like that. Yeah. Are yo-yos still kind of popular nowadays? Or I think they're about to be. <laughs> <laughs> after Ned, uh, yes. after the Ned show. Because yes. uh, I'm probably dating myself now, but the Duncan yo-yos mm -hmm. were really popular. And if you could walk the... Walk the dog. Mm -hmm. th that was pretty... I never could mm -hmm. get that. Walk the dog and rock the cradle. That's about all I it, can Yes, get, yes, know? that's and right. So yeah, was, no, uh, was it. So. I could do it, but then I'd have to go back and then cut and replace the string. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all twisted up, yes. Uh -huh. That was a mess. So when's the Ned Show coming up? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Yes. So that's coming up next week. Yes, mm -hmm. the next 27th. Week. Very good. I think he's going to be at Yeso also, and so they'll, they'll have that also then. Okay. Sounds exciting, and I'm sure the kids will enjoy that. Hopefully, the teachers will enjoy that too. Yes. So everybody. We had to specify a designated yo-yo area on our on our playground, so we have that set up and ready. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> because because with the the construction, uh, they had to replace our playground, so we got a whole new playground, and we have a little turfed area that that we're going to set aside for that, and uh, that'll be the yo-yo yes, section. Yes. The yo-yo section. <laughs> wow. And, uh, yeah. But no slinkies. No, no slinkies. <laughs> we don't have enough steps. Uh, uh, and you have a book fair coming up. And I, I look at the school calendar every day. We, we share um, all the activities from the different, police, different uh, schools, and I see the book fairs popping up. So what's a, what's a book fair? Oh, uh, a book fair is uh, usually Scholastic comes in, and, and, and they bring a, a, a set of books that is – age appropriate for mm -hmm. like elementary school because when I when I was at Zia they had a one there at Zia so they would bring age appropriate books for them and uh, the classes can go down and purchase books uh, and, and that uh, and then the money that collected then some of the profits actually go to the teachers because mm -hmm. uh, they get teacher bucks 
when kids purchase books. And we usually have one in the in the fall and one in the spring. The one in the spring is buy one, get one free. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's just a, a good way for kids to, you know, to find something that they like, find a, a, a genre that they like or a storyline that they like and, and can can purchase those books. Okay, so that's coming up here pretty soon. Yes. October 17th, I believe, is the beginning date of that. And yes. Is it a full week? A full week. Okay, so it's a, a full week, and that's coming up in October. Well, is there anything else? I mean, you have a lot of students. Uh, your All your teaching positions filled, everything good? Yes, all teaching positions are filled. Uh, Yuck has got about 300. 150 kids wow um so it, we're we're growing and and uh so enjoying each minute of it and <clears throat> you know starting with for uh, first grade we have four first grade teachers and every other grade level has three okay and so that's that's great and i bet the kids are glad to be back in school regular schedule everything uh everybody seems to be doing well with all that now oh, definitely they're yes. they're excited to be back in school and with all the kids back and playing and just you know kind of enjoying each other you know and that's and we try to get you know we go out each morning on the playground we have morning recess and let them play for a little bit come in and have the assembly and and make sure they get that that time to to go outside and and uh, learn how to play. Yeah, we, we forget, don't we? <laughs> uh, well, I yes. like the idea you have the yo-yo section, yes. so that might be a way to start, right? <laughs> yes. Um, Tara, is there anything else you'd like to add or, or mention? Or? No, I think that's all. Got it, uh, got it covered. So Yucca School, uh, you have a pretty active uh, PTO group? Yes, very. Uh, you know, we have active PTO, and, and one of the things they, they do like to for the staff they kind of you know have a monthly staff luncheon that they kind of provide for us and they they help us out and uh, we have uh, volunteers and uh, you know uh, going to we've got a couple of grade levels going to the heirloom makers and some volunteers oh, yeah. going out to help with them and just uh, you know parents are uh, are are great and they, they want to volunteer and help their kids and and we appreciate that and uh, they want to help the staff and uh, but uh, it's just a, a great organization we have there very I good in at the last meeting and there were it seemed to be mm -hmm. a huge group mm -hmm. of parents that are willing to volunteer this year so that I think that's I think people are just so excited to have uh, their kids back in school and be able to have normal activities that it seems like we had a bigger mm -hmm. volunteer group this year than than usual excellent yes. well we're so glad you came by and glad you guys are there and all the other teachers and support staff for the kids uh, Tara Skinner counselor at Yucca school and principal Brian Taylor thank you so much for coming in today okay thank, thank you. You. you have a great day you too we're gonna